Hey guys, the FM Gaffer here. Welcome to episode 46 of my Wigan War of Save here on Football Manager 2016. Now we've got a decision to make. Obviously, I've been trying to find a goalkeeper, and you know those three choices there are all out the window. Knudsen was too much money, and the other two have just gone. They're just they're just not there anymore. <laughs> I think they just disappeared off the face of the earth. These are my current options. So we've got this guy who was on here. Uh, hang on, let me just get rid of all the other ones. <laughs> we've got Yano Black. Now he is very good right now. Um, he's and we're looking to sign him for twenty eight million pounds, which is a lot of money. Sorry, thirty million. But, um, sorry, 30 million, I said that wrong. Um, but, yeah, it's only going to cost me 16 million pounds out of the wage budget, uh, out of the transfer budget, but that is a big bit. But all I need is a goalkeeper. Like, literally, this would probably complete my things, uh, complete my signings. Why did I say things? What is wrong with me right now? But, yeah, it's a big deal. And there's one other person that would, well, okay, that, this guy, Johnny Zuniga, he might have actually been one of the options, but he won't, his work permit isn't happening. But it's not. I don't think it's worth signing him. So I've sort of just given up on him, uh, really. So Yano Black. We have signed this guy, Jesse Larue. Now he's about 16 years old, but he has uh, quite a little, quite a bit of potential. Um, so we're looking at him as well. well. Well, okay, we've signed him. He has a determination 20. His potential isn't amazing, but if we get to get him up for a bit, and he'll probably be our third choice keeper really at the end of the day. But yeah, other than that. I can't see a goalkeeper. I, I had a move for a Jada who's 16 and looking pretty good. Uh, oh, guys, this guy's 14. Wow, and he's already... I didn't know they had 14-year-olds on FM. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we're just, we're just trying to find any... These are, this is not on... This is not on realistic targets. So, Tushtegen, Ruli, Courtois, and um, De Gea are probably out of the question. Let's just have a quick, cheeky little bid. No, no. no. Although he's at PSG now. How much... He only moved for 23 million. Wow! Ah, if, if he was available for 23 million right now, I would absolutely snap him up. But yeah, it's it's a very tough decision. I don't I don't know who to get. But yeah, I'm I'm not gonna get Yana Black. It's just it's just too much money. We're gonna cancel that. Um, but yeah, I just wouldn't give you this little bit because um, I did like this. Like I am gonna go through every like transfer. There won't be a lot that I haven't already gone gone through. But I just I'm finding it very difficult to find a strike. There he is, Marco Matarich. I found him. All right, we'll, get, we'll probably be signing him <laughs> because we haven't got a lot of choice right now. Uh, we've still got Blanco, so like he'll put. But he'll, I'm looking at him as my th a second choice keeper. So if we highlight the good good attributes. Yes, yes. Let's sign him up. Let's go. Three point five million. So he says six point two five. Let's go. Let's go down to four. Let's go down to three point eight million. Just keep working it until we meet reach as in the middle, but we'll be hopefully as far on our side as it is possible. I'm gonna just go up in point ones now. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna put a four point five million pound bid in. Hopefully that will be accepted. And uh, Marco Maric is probably our savior in the goalkeeping department. I just couldn't see him. That, but the other one is gone. I don't know unless it was Zaniga. I can't really remember to be honest what my options were um this is a new day i've only just come back from school and i've, I've logged uh, not logged on what would you call it open up the game that's the one and yeah i'm just i'm just i i, I left myself in a panic state like the transfer window hasn't even opened but like, i just i just really want to get this deal done because i need a quality goalkeeper that isn't on loan to us so um let's go through here so yeah, okay david dennis yeah we're going to reject all them um Jesus Christ, 90.6 million. Uh, we haven't been drawn for the Europa League or anything yet, but uh, one thing I do want to show you is um, I've got an increased youth level. So none of this stuff, but when you click on facilities and yeah, like decrease youth level, I increase youth level. So by the end of the season, something will have happened and we will have a better youth level. So um, I'm not sure, really sure. Let's have a look at season expectations quickly. So yeah, the Europa League, I almost forgot that we were actually, that we're actually in that competition. We enter at the playoff round I think and it's still in the first qualifying round so we won't be drawn for a while but reach group stage I'm gonna well hang on does it actually make that much of a difference no really Re reach group stage I'm gonna go top half finisher Premier League how much of a difference does that make 2 million Europa League I'm gonna go Europa League again because we did it last year Why, what's stopping us doing it again English FA Cup I'll just leave where they are so hopefully yeah that, I think that's improved it quite a lot so that'll be a um, pretty good youth players promoted 
I, I, I don't need them. These are just people that came through the youth intake and that I let have them because we, we might actually need to use them in like a cut match or something where I don't want to play a better player, but I'm, I, I, I'm not that keen. Can we release? Did that not cost us anything? Oh, sick. Okay. But yeah, here's the marriage deal now. Okay, so they want this extra stuff. I'm going to say no to that, but I'll agree to that. Well, I have to agree to the percentage of the next sale. Nope. Nope. Five million. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go with five million. So here come all our friendlies. I get my assistant to do my friendlies. Mine's rejected it. Not very nice. But, um, yeah, we've got some friendlies now, and obviously under 18s. Oh, God. Wigan wage rises. Yeah. Got yearly wage rises on quite a few people. Which is annoying, but yeah, hopefully we're, we're probably going to learn out quite a few people there. Uh, we we've re reached a bid. Uh, we've had a bid for Kalechi and Hinacho. The West haven't come back from their loan now, but we're finally going to be selling Hinacho. Yes, he is still at the club somehow. He's still got a four 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 uh, yeah four star potential, even though he's already twenty four years old. Um, okay, he's 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 a he's work permit decision for FC Copenhagen is on the thirtieth. If he gets a work, oh, he's had a cap for Nigeria now. Ooh. But I don't really want him, so, like, uh, I, I don't need him anymore. To be honest, he's probably not as good as some of my other strikers. Well, okay, he's definitely not as good as Heyman's or Garcia. That reminds me, I've done a new tactic where we have two strikers because of the return of Garcia. And I'm going to keep, obviously, Benalgia, and I'm also going to keep um, the South African guy in the squad. But I'm more likely, um, or I might do that. I'm not I'm not really sure right now. But, yeah, we've got the Renel, Renel Louis Undu, or whatever his name is. Okay, we've got new average attendance record. Cool. This year we've got a really good, much much better, 3,000 better average attendance. So here we go. We've got Marich. He's going to be a key player. We might as well put him on that. As you know, we're going to put first team. Uh, we'll do as long as possible. And we'll just say 31.5k. All right, well, it's a little bit more than that. I'm just going to... No, actually, I'm going to leave that on where you're on it. Salon percentage is not happening. Uh, we're going to get that down to a million. Put that on a lock. And um, we're going to get this down to 40,000, like right, 41,000, that's fine. <laughs> um, okay, he wants a little bit more than that. I didn't mean to actually go that far, but 42. I'm just going to go up like that. Hang on, if I stick on 42, I think it, I think he'll accept it. All right, he's moved it down a bit, but if I get, again, go on 42, it can, yeah, there we go. We've got him on 42. So 42 grand a week, not too bad. Million signing on fee, 975k in the agent fee, three years on the deal. I think that's a pretty good deal for Mark and Marich. So I think our goalkeeper situation is resolved enough. I think Marich will do a decent job. Blanco will be our second choice, and then that youth guy, which I've already forgotten the name of, who's 16, will uh, be our third choice keeper. Because I like having a third choice keeper. I don't want to have to bring in that, bring in another lone goalkeeper that is w w that's got so much on the wage bill, even though he's not even that good. But yeah, um, so after this save, sorry quickly. Actually, no, I'm probably going to... Okay, yeah, now I'm going to skip forward till the start of the season. It's going to be quite far in the future. I just wanted to have um, my, like, decisions over the goalkeeper because I was in a panic state and I just thought, I want to record myself in this panic state. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys at the start of the season in a sec. All right, guys, I'm back from a very hectic transfer window. We've made all the deals that we're going to be making. Um, I think like there could be one or two more. actually there's one more sale that's probably gonna happen There's one more buy that's gonna happen. So I completely lied before <laughs> but yeah, let's have a look at what's happened So Tilo Kera eventually went out to Bournemouth for 3.7 million. Uh, we just had a couple of youth players being released Costas Pilias I was thinking about signing on a new one-year deal and then and then trying to sell him but Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure. I, I just let him go in the end. He's gone to Mainz. So um, yeah, good luck to him He's still not too bad. To be fair, he still has that 20 determination and 16 heading, which I, which is why I signed him in the first place. But in the end, he's gone. Lucas Moore has gone, as you knew. He can not sure if I didn't mention has also gone. Zima has gone to mention Gladbach, as you knew. So now, a couple of young players that I was just trying to get rid of. So Eduardo Thomas, he's gone to Gillingham for £250,000. We signed him for 220 from Barcelona B. Uh, loaned him out for Oxford for a bit. Yeah, now he's gone to Gillingham. So we actually made a profit on him. Next up, Martin Saar, the Estonian. Um, we've sold him to Empoli. We only bought him on a free last year from the best team in Estonia, Levadia. Learned him out to commentary for a year. He hasn't actually played a single first team appearance, but we got 600k out of him, which I'm pretty happy to get. As um, although his star rating looks like he's pretty good, his attributes didn't didn't match that. Josh Grant, someone I've been trying to get rid of for quite a while now. He he's just he just never lived up to any. Like when I was Jamaica manager, he looked pretty good, but I swear as soon as I quit Jamaica manager, he just became shit. And uh, we learned about 
quite a few times, but in the end, we've uh, sold him to Wolves for £200,000, so good luck to him. So, up next, we've got Mattia De Francesco. He's just gone out on loan to Sociedad, just um, continuing his development. Gary Cahill's gone to Valladolid for £67,000. Obviously, we loaned him out at the back end of last season, and uh, he will be our fifth-choice centre-back, so we're going to um, boot him out. Uh, Callum and Harris, we've had to make a cut on him. We signed him £3.8 million, and him, along with Isaac Fuente, I'm slightly regretting. Um, so I thought I'd just sell them as quick as I can, so that their potential still looks pretty good to other clubs. And, um, yeah, I got £1.7 million, which isn't too bad. Paul Serrano, I think it's a really good deal. We signed him, I think, on a free. We did sign him on a free last season. We didn't pay any of his wages, so loaned him straight out to Blackburn, where he did actually quite well. And we've just sold him to Empoli for £1.3 million. Fantastic bit of business there, I think. We uh, loaned Fuente out to Cardiff again. Anthony Martial. Now, he's... um. He is a very good player, and he has done well for me in part. But we brought in... We, we, he, he won't be playing at striker anymore. And at left mid, he probably won't be playing there anymore. So I thought I might as well cash in while I can. He's 25, cut, approaching his prime. PSG came on with a £9 million pound bid. Quite, sorry, not a £9, £7 million pound bid. Quite happy to accept that. And uh, Benalcia has gone out on loan to centre at the end. Just, yeah, he will be the fourth choice striker if we keep him. So I thought I might as well continue his development elsewhere in France with St Etienne, hopefully he can become the player um, that he is destined to be. Um, but yeah, finishing is still, and composure are pretty good for him, and he has a lot of good mental, so he has definitely some potential. Now we look at the end, so Jesse LaRue, you already know about this guy, he's just going to be our backup keeper. His potential ability has actually gone up quite a lot, his determination's 20, reflexes 12, handling 13, pretty good one-on-ones, needs some work, but a very good goalkeeper actually, he could turn out to be, and for 775k fee, it could be a very good deal. You already uh, knew about this guy, he was our main right back now. Uh, Veselav Biel, Bielabradic. Okay, Bielabradic. Bielabradic. i got to get used to saying that because I'm going to say it a lot. He's going to be my starting right back. Um, so, yeah, he looks like a tremendous player. I've already gone through him a little bit. Worth 17.5 million. The fee was 14.5. Um, so, yeah, a pretty good deal, I think. Um, he has some great stats for the wing back defender that we like to play. Tackling 15. Crossing and dribbling could use some work, but marking and passing is good. As is, um, what was I going to say, positioning, that's the other defensive stat. Um, all of some really nice mentals, including 20 determination, of course, and acceleration, stamina, good pace, good. Very good physicals, actually, apart from jumping and reach, but that's fine. Next up, we've got Jerry St. Just. Don't really need to go through him. Already sort of went through it as well, and obviously he was on loan here last year. Very good player. Marco Maric, we've got him in for, uh, as, a, as a goalkeeper. He'll probably be in rotation with Blanco. £5 million pounds from Hoffenheim. And um, I'm quite happy to have that sort of thing. I, I don't want them one to be slightly better than the other, which was similar last year with Scuffe and Blanco, uh, where Scuffe used to play quite a lot, but Blanco is still only just a little bit behind him, but he still couldn't play as much. So these two are equal on star rating. They're pretty equal when you compare them um, here. So Ruben Blanco. <laughs> they're pretty equal, although, yeah, that that, that is like the, those stats that stand out to you on Marich's side. It's like passing, rushing out is not too good. If you look at the main goalkeeping stats, um, so yeah, handling is equal, one-on-ones, Marek has an advantage, reflexes, um, Ruben Blanco has an advantage each by one each time, so it's pretty even, although some are certainly favouring Marek. But yeah, it's going to be good to uh, rotate those two players. Next up, Christian Christensen, another one that we've already signed, centre-back, looks like an absolute beast, heading 18, tackling 17, marking 14, positioning 16, tremendous player, only 21 years old, potential for the future, tremendous player. He's going to be one of my starting centre backs. Now we get on to players that you didn't actually know we already signed. Sergio Ross. He's come in as my second choice attacking midfield right. Now he is another one with really good potential. He's only 19 years old and he has 17 crossing. I just love that. Um, so if we go on here and look at his wing stats, so crossing and dribbling, obviously very good. Technique's good, pace and acceleration. He's a very pacey player. Absolutely love him. He's going to be my second choice right back, uh, right midfield, which means Ibe is now going to be my. Um, rotation left wing with Grealish and that's why Martial has gone out so yeah I was just explaining that one next up Stippy Mercic I just looked at him and I, I had to sign him like I didn't particularly need another player he's he's going to be the replacement to Joe Allen I'm actually trying to get Joe Allen out while I can while he's still relatively young we're looking at about a 1.3 million pound fee for Allen and I was like, this guy is going to be his replacement he can play central mid and attacking mid naturally and striker uh, competently accomplishedly um, so yeah he's going to be the advanced playmaker 
Um, and yeah, he has some great stats for a passing first touch all 16. Lot of lovely, lovely, like just everything is just so good. Everything's above 15 apart from dribbling. We're actually working on dribbling with him. Off the ball and vision are really good. And does he have flair? He has a bit of flair, that's lovely. Um, looks like a tremendous player, Stippy Mrozic. And again, he's only 21 years old, so very, very good player. Kerr Campbell. Now, you would have remembered, if you're very good, you will have remembered when we played Watford a couple of years ago. No, it might have been the beginning of this year, actually, or the beginning of last year. I'm not quite sure. But um, this guy terrorised us for Watford on loan from Arsenal. That was two years ago when he was 19. He's now 21, and he's an absolute beast. He's going to be the rotation striker with Garcia and Heymans. We've made a two-striker tactic, which I'll go through in a minute. Yeah, he, he looks like such a good player. Um, the other one has a poacher as well, so that, that um, is, yeah, it's a complete forward and poacher. So yeah, finishing 18. That could go up. That could go up. Can you imagine that? Dribbling is also good uh, as it's complete forward. Technique passing could do some work. But acceleration strength is good. He's just like, ah, oh, Heyman's Garcia and Kerr Campbell. What strikers we have. It's it's so amazing. And um, he's only on 40k a week, which is pretty good for him. But it was a £30 million deal. And yes, that's not all at once. Of course, I never do anything all at once. But still, um, I think that's a very good deal, to be honest. Uh, and I'm, I'm excited. He's already played, He's already got an England cap. So yeah, we're, we're moving up in the world. We're buying international players. So, this is the team we're going with today against Everton. But first, let's have a look at the other tactic. So it's a 4-2-4 wide. According to that, or I'd just call it a 4-2-4 to be honest. Um, so yeah, we've got a goalkeeper on defend, we've got fullbacks on defend because obviously it's quite an attacking tactic, central defenders on defend. We've got a ball winning fielder and deep line playmaker rather than an advanced playmaker because it, and, and that's on defend because of course, again, we want to be a little bit more conservative as we're playing sort of four up front. We've got a winger on the right and insult forward on the left as usual in our other normal tactic. We've got poacher and uh, complete forward up front. Those are the instructions we want to look. Short passing, hit early crosses, clear ball to flank, split crosses, split the left flank, split the right flank, uh, sorry, split the flank and play wider. We've got standard fluid as the thing. So we're going to be playing that against teams probably um, below like 15th or so. So if we look at the season preview, whoopsie daisy. Everton are higher than that, so we're going to be playing our normal tactics today. But yeah, the teams like Southampton, Palace, Hull, QPR, Bournemouth, Norwich, I'd probably say too. Uh, and possibly, yeah, no, that'll probably be it. Um, so against those sort of teams, we'll be playing that because we want to obviously play a variety of strikers. But against today, uh, against teams like Everton today, we're playing this tactic. So this is the team. We have got Blanco in goal. We have got Yella Bradic at right back. We have got St Just and Umtiti at centre backs. Azar Suleiman is our left back today. We've got Natia and Mursic at centre midfield. Um, we got who we got. Jordan Ive, that's it. I couldn't. I I just couldn't. Re I was literally staring at the player and just couldn't read his name. There. Um, we got Jordan Ive at right wing. We got Grealish on the left. We got Milner through the middle. We got Heymans, of course, up front. We got a bench of Maris, Christensen, Ross, Kerr Campbell, Pazella, Mukhtar, Matuidi. We got Alan Brezovic, Evandro Garcia, and Larue also in the squad. But obviously, we're trying to get rid of Alan, so I'm just going to offer him out for 1.3, and then we'll lock that because I've been getting. I I, I have offered him out once already, and I got a 750k offer. So yeah, let's just quickly go through pre-season. 4-2-1 losses. I mean, what even the hell? And uh, a 2-0 win. We had a training camp in Germany where we lost 2-1 to uh, Dresden. De Dessakalakis got uh, two goals in four minutes. But then Garcia made it 2-1 straight away. But yeah, we couldn't get an equaliser. Again, disappointing loss. Schnell Bacher getting the goal for Vejen, giving them the lead. Heyman's equalised. And then Sch Schnell Bacher gets, got a last-minute winner. Against Reutlingen, we went 2-0 up before half time in this one and uh, there was no goal in the second half Heymans and Garcia either side of the half lost to Club Bruges disappointing Landre with the opener Heymans with the equaliser Del Valle with the winner and then we lost to Inverness as well Andres put them 2-0 on the head before Kirk Campbell got on back but it's the Premier League where we're looking at and obviously the Europa League 2 we're actually straight into the group stage I didn't actually realise that and of course it means we get straight into the Capital One Cup third round which is good because um, we're expected to get to fourth round so that'll make it slightly easier I might actually try in the Cups this year, though I'm sort of also trying to get into the Champions League, but like we were so close last season, which means that I think that we can get it in this season, which annoys me because I don't want to. I want to this season be consolidating getting Europa League again after getting it by finishing like quite far off fourth, fourth last time. But um, yeah, so but part of me wants to go to the Champions League, and I think Cups won't help with that. But we'll just we'll probably just boot, do a full. Uh, a, second rate side in the first couple matches and if we get through them then we'll 
then we'll have a see if see what we can do basically and yeah so have i gone through the team i have gone through the team so i think there's nothing left to do but submit it i think uh oh yeah i'll just i'll just tell you about the guy that we're trying to bring in um instead of joe allen uh not joe allen we're trying to bring on as a backup right back because obviously we don't have it we looked at this guy but i i in the end i just didn't want him because he was 30 million i was just like i don't think it's worth it jose carlos we're trying to bring him in um I don't think he'll reach that potential. I think he'll reach around three, maybe three and a half star. But yeah, he's going to be a backup right back. Um, but yeah, the, we have, he has work permit issues. So work permit decision on the 10th of the 8th. I'm not sure. Is he, He's a young player, so they might not like worry that he's not made a cap yet. But yeah, he's got determination 19, which is lovely. And he has some really good stats in um, in the areas tackling and marking and uh, position. Of course, teamwork is also very good. But decisions, which is good. Hopefully he won't make a mistake. Concentration, again, not mistake prone. The stamina and acceleration are good, so he is um he'll be a very good right back if he does come in, but yeah we'll have to leave that up to um the work permit people whoever decide the work permit. So yeah Blanco is starting goal today, but Marich has had started quite a few times in preseason. We've got um a tutoring Larue is learning off Marich. We have had tutoring before. I know this is the first time I've probably mentioned I've done a tu tutor, but I've done quite a few before. Um maybe we should play Bazella. Yeah I do Bazella. Yeah I don't know why I didn't do done that before. Um, but yeah, per, yeah, so Bazella's going to be playing more. I don't think we have any promises, because I remember Suleiman... Yeah, he still wants first team football, that's probably why we're playing him. So, um, yeah, I will do that. So, there you go. But that way around, I didn't want to leave Garcia off the bench, but uh, otherwise we won't be able to cover all the thing, all, all the um, all the positions. So, just I just want to see. So, yeah, Everton and Tottenham, because at the, at, the, at the beginning of the season is where some people, like, if they don't play their first couple matches... Then they'll get pissed off. So the Southampton game, I'll be playing my four-two-four and the Bournemouth game. So, uh, oh, actually no, Bournemouth quite high up. Let's have a look in the season preview. Okay, there, nah, yeah, well, we can play it. So we'll play against them. So hopefully, yeah, we'll give Garcia and Kirk Campbell a chance there because I don't want them moaning at me because I haven't played them the first two games. Or well, well, I won't play them the first two games. Possibly it depends. But um, yeah, after that, I'll definitely play um, them. So yeah, done the team. Submitting the team. Let's go. It's Everton away quite a difficult start to the season hopefully we can get off to a win on our title season bit ambitious but um, yeah so we've got one good reaction from Blanco let's do some eye of face uh, yeah that looks like it's done well so we've got seven good reactions there let's go out there and uh, get us a win so Ibe on the ball still Ibe Milanov with our first few touches and Casemiro commits the first foul against us in the Premier League this season. Grealish has a chance there. Jose Sarr pulls off the save. I'm just going to check that everything's normal. Oh yeah, I've still got the league table gone from the last day of the season and the latest score, so we'll bring them back up. Uh, so yeah, here's Jordan Knight into Georgie Milanov. Heymans! Of course, Cal Heymans. Gets his first of the season, I'm pretty sure it won't be his last, unless he gets like a nine-month injury. Um, uh, I'm not tempting fate, hopefully. But yeah, our new goalkeeper, Bredger Braz uh, right back, sorry, Bredger Brazic, played it into uh, Ibe, and then Milanov, and then Heyman's. Uh, after tripping over the name, I had to speed up for the laugh. Okay. Biela Bradic. Biela Bradic. It's not that hard. Biela Bradic. Biela Bradic. Biela Bradic. I might nickname him to what that sounds like, just so, just to help him out. Help him, sorry, help me out. Bentica now with the ball, uh, with the shot. And that is over the bar. Is that Bentica, my French? The guy that plays for the French team, I assume it is, because there's not a lot of Bentecas that are, be, would be enough good enough to play in the Premier League. So yeah, Rodrigo, but let's have a look. No, he's zero by it's different. Oh no, am I thinking of my zero to hero? I'm thinking of my zero to hero, aren't I? I think. Sorry for those of you that watch this series and don't watch that one. As Milanov hits that over the bar. Um, um Titi has that done to Milanov. We're looking on top so far. I we're creating a lot of opportunities. We're playing like the home team to be honest. I Grealish, how's he not scored that? Yes, of course from the rebound, thank God. Jack Grealish with his first goal of the season. We're 2 0 up in 32 minutes. Great start. The only team above us are Tottenham right now. And that is alphabetical order. And uh, who isn't above we getting in alphabetical order, to be fair. Um actually West Watford, West Ham, no, no, yeah, we're bottom. Must have been bottom before this game. But yeah, Tottenham's winning 2 0. And uh, guess who we have next? It is the mighty Spurs, so could be a top two clash. Although there is obviously more games to play in the early kickoff. If you're interested, I think Chelsea beat Man United two one. I think that's how it went down. Uh, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Tottenham just gone three 0 up. They're winning now. 
Kabea, that's a good tackle, Milanov. Kabea was actually a free agent, I actually looked at him, but um, in the end I decided he wasn't good enough. I actually made a bid for Higuain, he was actually released by Chelsea. Um, or it could have been Arsenal, but I think it was Chelsea. But in the end, he they, he took Bordeaux's offer over mine, which I think is true. I think we're, at this point, we're better than Bordeaux. We've just qualified the Europa League. Bordeaux barely even do that every year. So I'm a little bit disappointed in Gonzalo. Um, but yeah, and that that was probably... But um, in the end, it might be a best team disguise because we probably went, over, went, went, oh, all right, I'm signing Kirk Campbell at that point. But yeah, oh, crap, Tom, I'm going 4-0 up. Wait, when was half time? I don't remember half time. Did I do it just a team talk just really randomly and then I, I don't remember half time. <laughs> uh, if you guys remember half time, I apologize, but I just sometimes I'm like, wait, it's the second half. What? Oh, Norwich got one back. Yes, Norwich doing us a favor. Grealish did towards our target. Swansea now winning 2-0 too. They must be ahead of us. They are. Natias cleared up that. I'm really looking for Natias to become a key player as well as Evandro this season in that Borne midfield role. Uh, he's now natural at it, and I think Evandro's on the edge of uh, on the edge of being natural at it. So yeah, it could be soon that they're both natural at it, and they'll get, both be very good players. But we've still got Matuidi for another year. Though we're just going to let his contract run out this year. As Grealish comes forward, Grealish has he got a man? Oh, that wasn't really anything to be honest. And um, but I'm going to make some subs. Why isn't it letting me say subs? I don't think I've. Oh, and he was injured. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, and we got Matuidi on the. Whoopsie Daisy. We got Matuidi. On the bench, not anyone else. Uh, Creelish is gonna have to come off for. We haven't got his replacement. Oh yeah, we have. Well, we'll just put Ivan on the on the left and then put Ross um, for his debut uh, on right wing. Obviously, we've had other debuts like Mirosic and B B Biela Bradic, and no, that is it. I think that's it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, who else can we bring on? Who's particularly tired? Suleiman, but he wants more first team football. They've sort of given him first of all. He also, is also on a bugging, so we'll bring on Pazella. So yeah, three changes. Ross, Pazella, and, um, uh, sorry, Matuidi and, um, and Pazella on for Grealish, Natia, and Suleiman. Uh, so yeah, we'll just do some eye face, but I don't think that worked on anyone. No, it didn't. Just they seem deep in thought, which is good enough, I guess. But yeah, with, seven, with 20 minutes left, we're looking pretty comfortable here as Milanov to Mersic towards I. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that, but Mersic just cut that out. Jordan I don't, what are you doing, you idiot, Cedric, into Cole, into Kostic, Kostic, coming forward for Everton, Kostic towards Chicharito, Javier Hernandez there, getting in uh, to the front post but couldn't convert it, Blanco now with the goal kick, Milanov can't get there, Casemiro, Jordan Ibe, Mersic, into Milanov, Milanov out to Ross, let's see what he can do, cuts inside, target tackles him quite easily, Welcome to the Premier League, Ross. Um, Sergio Ross. Kostic now. Chicharito. Cool. Kostic. That's a fucking penalty and it's sent off, isn't he? He's bloody sent off, isn't he? <sighs> Wait, he didn't get sent off. Oh, I wasn't I was watching. Okay, Chicharito with a penalty. And uh, Blanco couldn't get there. We went the right way, but Hernandez has made this very tight, actually. Luckily, we've still got... 11 men on the pitch, I believe. So Chicharito putting that in the bottom corner. Yes, yeah, yeah Bradic. Well done for fouling him, not that badly for a, for a yellow card. I swear he was last man anyway. Yeah, Pazella now. Milanov, can we make it 3 1 just to make the game safe? Towards Ross, down to Heymans. Heymans, Saar with the save. Good opportunity there. Ross rose well to head it down, but Heymans couldn't convert or pull it back for a man. And now Izamat is coming away for Everton. I'll get that Matuidi, yes, Matuidi. Jordan Ives down side, Haven Tamers is on side, I believe. Apparently not. I swear he got back there. I swear I was actually watching it. Bielo Bradic. Is that right? Bielo Bradic, yeah. Ross, Matuidi, Mersic. Towards Milanov. Target, Pazella's there. Mersic. Mersic into Ibe. Oh, I just realised Mersic's name sort of spells Mr. Sick. <laughs> um, Mr. Sick now on the ball. Haymans! And that is 3 1, and that's. Most likely game over here. Kjell Heymans with his second of the game. Second of the season. Matuidi. I told you it wouldn't be his last. Mr. Sick playing it through to him. Heymans. I'm not going to call him that in future. I'm not going to do the nickname thing because he's just Mersic, okay? <laughs> Stippy Mersic. I love that name. Stippy. There's a, um, uh, there was an old Tottenham keeper called Stippy Plesikosa 
who was like a third choice keeper, but was first choice for Croatia, I think. And uh, also there's Stippi Parika, who was a young player who plays for Chelsea. He might still play for Chelsea, I think he does, which is signed for Wellington Phoenix. So, yeah. There are some Stippies, I know. <laughs> um, Mercic heads that down to Milanov. And that is full time at Gilderson Park. Really good win on the opening day of the season. Everton won. Wigan Athletic 3. Lovely jubbly. We take the points back to Wigan. Two from Heymans, one from Grealish. Hernandez's penalty. Um, be, be, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I just realised. If if he would have got sent off, um, Veselev, whatever his name is, Veselev. Uh, i got to remember this without... Okay. Biela Bradic. Biela Bradic, is that it? Um, okay, yeah, they've... So, keep your eye coming for Alan for 1.3 million, so we're probably going to be signing him. Biela Bradic. Biela Bradic. Why is it so hard for me? I mean, I don't understand. But yeah, if, if he had got sent off, he would have just been like the, another Jean Zimmer. He actually, his aggression is relatively high with 12. And I remember, yeah, he's he's banned for a Europa League match. Although, it has another one. So, that sort of suggests that that won't, won, won't count for us, maybe, hopefully. But hopefully by then, we'll have a new right back in. And uh, the whole um, work permit stuff will go through for the other guy. Uh, when did it say the decision was going to be made on the work permit? I think it might have been the 13th. So if it was in the next couple of days, I thought I might just advance to show you guys. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, smash that like button. Um, if you want, if you have any questions, put in the comment section. If you want to see more of this and the Zero to Hero, subscribe to my channel. I've been the FM Gaffer. I'll see you guys next time.